You all know what one of the worst feelings in the world is when you record a video and then you go to edit it and you realize the microphone was shut off for the entire video. And then when it specifically comes to gameplay and career mode videos, it hurts even more because trying to replicate what happened in that video or in that race is nearly impossible on a on a voiceover than the live commentary. So I'm going to try my best, guys. The audio was lost while I was recording. What was funny enough and ironic enough is in this video I talked about how I have to move my camera every time I shut my computer off. Well, for some reason, OBS decided to default my uh, my voice input capture, which is usually my microphone. It decided to default it and not use my microphone for some reason, and I had no idea. The In the settings it was not muted, but it was not chosen to my uh, Yeti uh, microphone. So I am extremely frustrated with my computer at the moment because uh, it, it really pissed me off today, to say the least. So, trying to edit this... And talk over this race is going to be very difficult for me because it is a 40 something minute video and I have no audio and I have no idea what point of the race is to talk over uh, because everything happens naturally in a live commentary and in a talk over it is very very different so I, I definitely apologize for that guys this race was a, uh, a big one this was Talladega a race we could win um, and, and one we should win because these are one of the few races that we have in a season to win uh, with the current car that we have. We had around $4 million in the bank after this race. It will go up and we will try and most likely buy a new car. I talked about how I didn't know what to do first in, in between, let's say, upgrading the, the departments or buying a new car. And I think what I will do in the next episode is buy a new car, a new Speedway car, so we can hire more pit crew members uh, and more crew members so we can just keep working uh, overall around that. But uh, let's head off into the race. It is 47 laps at Talladega. Um, and again, bear with me. I really apologize that it's not a live com. Um, just the audio didn't record. So it really sucks. It takes away a lot from the video because I like the live com. I like what happens naturally in a race. Um, it, it happens organically with, with my reactions and I cannot do that here. So it didn't take long to get through the field. Um, it took a few laps. Uh, and the first run was, was pretty decent. We were making our way through the pack uh, and just on the bottom, you know, biding our time. You know how Talladega is. Uh, it is a long race, 47 laps, so there's no real need to, to push the envelope too much. And the whole goal was to just get into second place and uh, try and chill from there. So once we did that uh, and, and we got to second place and then we were just waiting for pit stops to begin, um, Eric Amarola heads down pit road, so he, uh, he then goes down. And uh, that leaves us in the lead. We go a little bit longer, so we have Ryan Blaney shoving us a little bit. And uh, that is that. I mean, you know, the whole joke about basically my entire career in this in this career mode is me speeding on pit road. So I, I made sure I was uh, extra careful this time. And uh, actually, on the first on the first uh, run down pit road, it was pretty close. I think heading in a pit road, I was below 55 miles per hour, but the game jumped me up to 57. And it did not catch me for speeding, which I got really lucky about. Um, so I got lucky there. And then the caution comes out, uh, which is something I'd, I'd like to avoid at these plate tracks. That's why I set the races to relax the yellows at plate tracks. But caution still comes out. So we regroup. Second run is pretty much the same thing. We get up to the front quicker, though. Uh, we get up to the top three in about three laps from the restart. And so I just decided to pit after that caution just for the sole reason. I just want to pass some cars and have some fun. So we get up behind Ryan Blaney, and then we have Brennan gone as the third car, and then we just try to uh, go from there. Then Cole Custer gets behind us, and, and the three-car tandem wasn't really working because I couldn't get the third car to my bumper, so I just decided to shove Ryan Blaney the whole way, and we uh, continue on. Then they head down pit road, and this is where the race got a little bit uh, hectic, to say the least, because what happened here was... Due to that caution, it spread the field out a lot in terms of who came down pit road when. So the first round of stops came when I had still five laps of estimated fuel left. And then there was just multiple groups. First run, there was like five, ten cars, and then another five cars, then another ten cars, and then another five cars. So it spread it out very evenly. We were able to push it pretty much all the way. And this caused uh, exiting pit road to be a little bit chaotic because every time someone exited pit road, uh, or a group of cars that exited pit road is slowed down the pack while I just went around the outside. Now, eventually, we would pit, and there was only two cars, me included, and Kurt Busch, 
that could push it to the distance that we went. So I took that into note for the future because then if this can stays green, uh, it will just be me and Kurt Busch uh, really battling for the win, but I wasn't expecting it to stay green at all. So we enter pit road, don't have any speeding issues, which is perfect. Exit pit road, and we get back into the pack, and we just continue on, try to get back up to the front. It goes green for a little bit, and then it is time to come down pit road yet again. And uh, just trying not to speed. That's the whole gist of the race is don't speed on pit road. Pit crew was fantastic. 14 second stops all the way around. You can see the gap that we have usually over the pack when we came out. So uh, at this point in the race, we had a three second lead and coming down to two second. Brendan Gaughan obviously would catch us, but then Matt DeBandetta was with him. So it was a two car tandem running me down, which is what I, I wanted in my ideal world. So I waited for them to catch up and uh, that was perfect scenario for us. Then we almost lose the draft to them, but luckily... And the Bandetto checks up a little bit. That allows me to get into second place. And then what I try to do is get the Bandetto onto my rear bumper, get him as a draft partner, and then hook us up with Brennan Gone. And this time it worked. The uh, Bandetto stayed on my bumper. Gone was a draft partner. And then we had the famous three car tandem, which is exactly what I want at these tracks a push from behind and we us pushing in front. And uh, we go from there. So this is what allowed us to start pulling away from the pack a little bit. But it was pretty short-lived. And the reason it was short-lived was DeBandetto and Brennan Gaughan decided to come down pit road. And uh, that was pretty frustrating because I still had five laps of estimated fuel left. And I had to push it to a certain distance to make it on fuel with only one more stop. As you see, we're on lap 35. So I have to go at least to lap 37, 38 to uh, make it on one more stop. So the good news is, if this race stays green... These guys can't make it on fuel. Most of the pack cannot make it on fuel except me and Kurt Busch. And Kurt Busch at all times around here was around five seconds back. So technically, we had a five second lead over the guy we were racing against. Problem is, over the course of these next three or four laps, I lose a lot of time because I don't have anyone to draft with. I have no draft partners. Since we're the leader, the AI are not going to help us. So technically, compared to the Bandetto and Brennan Gone, we were losing time. But I couldn't come down pit road. So it was just the, the game we had to play, lose a little bit of track position for the long term. Uh, and then we decided to come down pit road again, no speeding. So this entire race, I did not have a speeding penalty, which is uh, a first for me, to be fair. Four straight times down pit road, no speeding penalties. I made sure that was a, a very important part of, of the race, not to, not to get speeding. So we come back out of pit road. Kurt Busch is still on track. And then we get uh, behind, uh, we get Brennan gone behind us. And we have to run down Matt to Bandetto, which would not be that difficult. Uh, we would be able to uh, get up to him. But the caution did come out. And so when the caution came out, it was kind of the worst case scenario due to the fact that we weren't in the lead yet. And uh, the race got played out multiple ways. Either A, caution comes out with three to go and we just have to do a green white checkered. This was the worst case scenario because we had eight to go, which means we would have four to go coming uh, to the restart. And that's a little bit too long to put myself in the lead and then block the rest of the way so this was kind of the worst case scenario it didn't go green where we could win it didn't the caution didn't come out with only a few laps to go so we could block the whole way so i had to play it very carefully here we had to be very aware of what we had to do we had brendan gone as a draft partner which is nice uh, when he was drafting that was a beautiful scene because uh, i was able to stay next to kurt bush and just stay in a position where I had to be in uh, and make the move with either two to go or, or coming um, to the white flag. With two laps to go, we drop into fourth place. Kurt Busch goes backwards, uh, and Denny Hamlin is now in second place. We were able to get underneath him and get into second. I wanted to get into second as quick as I could and then get Denny Hamlin to become a draft partner. That was the ideal situation. It ended up not really working out that way um, and because I didn't want to pass McDowell too early. And McDowell was sliding up the track, and Denny Hamlin was right behind me, and I was trying to get McDowell actually down the track, and then I had to make a, uh, a quick move down to get Eric Jones to become a draft partner. When Eric Jones didn't become a draft partner, uh, we had then had Corey LaJoy come up behind, and uh, getting Corey LaJoy to push us, but the problem is I didn't have the draft of Michael McDowell. This is the backstretch on the final lap, trying to win the race, and so we have the push, but it's not enough, and then luckily McDowell drops in behind and LaJoy then backs off which is again not what we needed so we have to completely focus in switch the camera view try to get the run on Michael McDowell side draft him on the quarter panel I was actually actually very surprised we were able to get that run we pull the side draft heading into the tri oval final lap last lap pass coming to the finish line boom and we win the race 
luckily. We got very lucky there. I honestly thought I messed it up, but I didn't. We were able to get in the lead at the perfect time, right at the last second. Didn't have to try to block the field when they go three and four wide. A perfect situation. And our first win of the season, which was very, very necessary. We had to Dover next, and then after that, Martinsville. But this was the one I really, really wanted because we, we really had to win this race to get into the playoffs, which we do. Uh, and that will help us for sponsorship next season when we need a bit uh, a better sponsor. So, guys, I will leave you there. Sorry for the shorter video and the it, it kind of broke up here, but... I had to do it this way because I, I didn't have the, the audio from, from previously, so it is what it is. Hopefully, I will make sure the audio works next time out at Dover. And uh, I won't expect to win that one, but then Martins was the one after that, and hopefully we get the second one of the season there. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Comment down below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. And I will see you guys later. Take care of yourselves, and peace out.